Hey, Chris from the Mighty Decibel here. Welcome back. It's the last Thursday of the month, which means it's time for us to name our favorite albums of the month of September 2022 across the four categories we cover here at the Mighty Decibel. Those being extreme metal, doom, hardcore punk, and hard and heavy. And as you'll see, the heavy stuff was uh, had a lot of depth this month, uh, really strong. Uh, so let's get into it. So the first category we're going to cover is extreme metal, and we're going to break that down into three subcategories, the first being black metal. So truth be told, black metal had a relatively uh, light month, uh, but there is one that deserves attention, that being the blasphemous psalms of cannibalism from Finnish Black Death Horde, Blood Chalice. So this spills copious amounts of blood, blood along the way. The band approaching war metal wall of sound at uh, velocities at times, but then they pull back every once in a while for some doom death sequences. So there's a little bit of Marduk there, a little bit of Archgoat there. Definitely uh, an album for the most hardened of extremists out there. thrash metal now and this was an amazing month for thrash no doubt about it so much so that i got four highlighted records here to talk about all of them scoring 8.5 at least uh, and we're going to start out uh, by celebrating the return of the mighty razor my fave thrash metal band of all time with cycle of contempt uh, amazingly their first record in 25 years so I'm still internalizing this release, but my first thoughts is of an album that contains references to all ears of, the, of their discography, regardless, uh, an outright great headbanger of a record. Second of our highlighted thrash records goes to the pleasantly monikered Hellfuck. <laughs> With Diabolic Slaughter, the Polish unit's debut release. So this is old school Germanic hard thrashing. Uh, comparisons to early creator would be appropriate. So great in the pocket drumming, lots of memorable riffs and forward momentum for Miles. Hellfuck indeed. Despite being an instrumental and relatively short 14-minute EP, 
we have Kentucky's Benja Metal uh, on our list here, their self-titled debut. The thing that stands out here is the amazing uh, guitar tone and riffs. If you do not headbang to this, I'm not sure you're a thrash metal fan. Saving the best for last, uh, my fave album of the month, regardless of genre here. It's Eterna Abomination, the fourth full length from Chilean Destroyers Repugnatory. So this primo black thrashing to be found here, perfectly produced, allowing the active bass and drum work to be discerned uh, within the high octane riffage and killer cackle vocals. If forced to make a comparison, I would say uh, Destruction's Infernal Overkill you could point to, uh, both containing unrelenting velocities and off-kilter lead guitar forays. Hail. death metal now where we have two records to talk about first being a shout out to detroit michigan unit perversion for their sophomore full-length diaz iray uh, this is a good one to check out if you're if you like some black and thrash in your death uh, but our highlighted record of the month goes to kansas city chaos mongers Erez kingdom with their full, full fifth full length in darkness at last so I love their 2019 release by the light of their uh, destruction and lads don't let up on this one. Uh, so textbook skull crushing old school death metal from start to finish on this one. Uh, the rhythm section really delivering the gut busting uh, heaviosity and the ironclad production helps too. two records to talk about first a shout out goes to graceless for the best death doom record of the month uh, if you're into wall of sound crushing metal that uh, mixes equal part death and doom check out the dutch unit's new e chance from purgatory our highlighted doom record of september goes to virginia beach stoners freedom hawk with their sixth album take all you can uh, so first and foremost, the great songwriting displayed here. There's six tracks. Uh, three of them are old school Sabbatharian. 
Uh, one of them is uh, catchy, could be on the radio, uh, and there's two relatively laid back ones. And then you add the vocals of uh, that sound like early Ozzy warbling, unique and piercing. Put that all together and you have a package that entice, uh, entices you to put it on over and over again. Truly a grower. Let's move on to hardcore punk now where we've got five albums to talk about uh three uh shout outs so the, the first shout out goes to my fave punk metal release of the month uh for singapore's demolition axe for their new ep their second this year called if you want war we've got it <laughs> love the strangled vocals on this one uh, if you're looking for an interesting uh, release i'd suggest you check out parchem buland asked by Zanjir, uh, an international unit that sings lyrics in Urdu, Punjabi, and Farsi. Uh, musically, it's just straight up hardcore punk. And the last of our shout outs goes to Spanish unit Arma X for Violento Ritual. Uh, so this one's for all you hardcore fanatics out there. I hear a little bit of bulldozer and agnostic front in this one, and that's a good thing. But our uh, first highlighted hardcore punk record for September has to be Peace Through Tyranny by Florida's Kill Division, which just so happens to be one of the best grindcore albums of the year to date. Uh, so you can call this an all-star band, given uh, it's made up of Kyle Simons, uh, ex-malevolent creation vocalist, gruesome guitarist Gus Rios, Megadeth drummer Dirk Verbruen, and Venom Inc. member Jeremy Kling, who covers bass duties here. But regardless of the membership, uh, this is just flat out a great album. Uh, place along with your copy of Terrorizer's World Downfall. For something a little bit more chaotic, let me introduce you to Finnish hardcore punk ragers Vivisectio, who have issued the blistering Usa Normali. So what you get here is uh, fuel-injected punk with a fabulous performance at the mic, a throat-tearing, exhausting vocal that just oozes hatred, vengefulness, and desperation, even if you can't understand the Finnish lyrics. Kaivokaa! 
On to hard and heavy now, our last category, basically made up of everything that's heavy that doesn't fit in our first three categories. Uh, and uh, kind of light, but we've got two albums to talk about here. The first being a shout out to Venom Inc., uh, who have issued There's Only Black, their sophomore record. Fifth, uh, five years in the making, uh, what we find Venom Inc. spewing forth is uh, basically trad heavy metal for the underground banger. Our highlighted record, though, uh, you want to hear an album that sounds like the long lost record between Bomber and Ace of Spades? Well, you're going to have to check out uh, White Spade, which is a uh, basically midnight paying tribute to Motorhead. So from the rumbling bass to the fast Eddie Clark guitar squeals, this just nails the 7980 Motorhead sound dead on. Uh, some may complain that it's just too close to the original and that you can point out specific Motorhead songs that, uh, that uh, some of these white spades are, are, uh, are copying. <laughs> but hey, I'm a huge Motorhead fan. Uh, so adding another quality release to that discography is always welcome to me. Fast and loose. <laughs> have it the mighty dust bells fave albums from september 2022 if there's any that you think we missed uh, put it down below and let everybody check them out uh, so remember to check in every monday for our new release mondays tuesdays we have our curated playlists in 40 minutes wednesday we have our live or album reviews and thursdays we have our best of top tens you know where to go www.themightydecibel.com have a great one eh bye